you know. Thanks again for your time. Oh, it's my pleasure to have been of some help. Good day, ma'am. Goodbye. anything this weird woman has said. Well, those clippings don't lie, Daisy. These are just the old newspaper clippings. These don't give a complete picture of anything. Well, you think she had them printed up just for my benefit? I think this is a very nice ploy to get $10,000 from you. Well, I'm going to pursue it, Daisy, whether you approve of it or not. I don't. Don't you see, Joanna is just playing on your emotions because Ross rejected you. Oh, that's nonsense. No, it's not. Why else would she suddenly produce a grandson that... Ross has never even mentioned. Because she turned the boy against his father. Why don't you at least go to someone, have these checked out before you go on a no, wild no, chase, No, Palmer. no, 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 no. I'm not going to question Ross about it. No, no. His animosity toward me is too great for him to admit that I have a grandson. Well, so you're just going to spend a fortune based on those just to find out all by yourself. Yes, it would be worth every penny of it, too. It's foolishness. Foolishness? Yes. For me to want to... To create a dynasty out of my own flesh and blood? You already have a daughter. And I have a son. He refuses to acknowledge me, of course, so I'll just skip a generation and start with my grandson. Fine. And what about if this, um, Andrew, that's his name, what if he decides he doesn't want to play along with you? Well, why shouldn't he? After all, his father did reject him. <laughs> Yes, hello. Monique, where is Father? He called a meeting and he's nowhere near. Where is he? Well, uh, just a minute, darling. It's your daughter. She wants to know why you're not at a meeting that you called. Oh, tell her, tell her I'm busy. You don't know when I'm going to be back. Palmer, I want you to be Listen, she can I handle it. She can handle it. I said, after all, she is the president of the company. Come on. <laughs> Hi, Hillary. Have to do some shopping, huh? Uh, no, actually, I came to look for my father. Is he around? Uh, he's in the back. He, he needs a bit of cheering up. Oh, really? Why? Oh, the old thing, you know. Oh. Just a minute. Okay. Langley, you got a visit, honey. Hillary, how nice to see you. Oh, what a nice delightful to see surprise. You too. Um, are you busy working? No, no, listen. I'll go and do some billing in the back. Okay. okay? Well, my dear, what fortunate happenstance oh. brings you here. <laughs> well, I came to talk about you and Aunt Phoebe. What about us? Well, I'm bringing you some good news. I know she still loves you, Father. She said so? Well, not in so many words, but I know she's never stopped caring about you. Why do you say that? Oh, well, just the way she's been acting lately. Like the other day, we were listening to a song on the radio, and it reminded me of Tad, and um, she said that you and she had a special song. And even though she denied it, I know that she missed you terribly. Oh, Daddy, you don't know how much I would love to see the two of you back together again. And I just, I feel so strongly that if you just keep pitching in there, that it, it could happen. Oh, bless you, darling, for this wonderful news. It couldn't have come at a more opportune time. I know. I heard that you were depressed. Yes, I was, but now I'm full of hope again. Nothing will deter me. <laughs> what is going on? I'm Phoebe? one, Myrtle. Phoebe loves me. And I'm going over there right now and I shake out an admission if I have to. <laughs> My. You Good stay luck. right here, my dear, and pick out anything you want and put it on my account. Oh, but now, Lanny. I'm off from the wings of love. Oh. Well, you certainly cheered him up, didn't you? Oh, I just hope it works this time. <laughs> oh, excuse me, darling. That's a delivery. I'll be right back. You just look around. Hi, Hillary. I've been looking for you. Why? I wanted to find out what happened with Tad. Hillary, thank you so much. You know what this means to me. Holly, I don't know what good it did. Oh, maybe just that I won't have to leave Pine Valley now. Yeah, I heard that you were planning to. Yes, I, I'm so grateful to you. I, I just... 
I'm like, I can't get over that you did that for me. Sally, I did it because I just felt that Tad should do what was right. I know, and, and now maybe because you spoke to him, he will. I hope so, Dottie. You're still hung up on him, aren't you? I'm really sorry, Hillary. I'm sorry, too. But I can't blame you for wanting your baby, Dottie. And also wanting my baby to have a father. But I also, I mean, I, I, I feel a little guilty. Guilty for what? I mean, right from the start, I haven't been very nice to you. And, and, and it was really because I was jealous and 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 i i didn't like Tommy, it because you know please just i i didn't want to see the nice things in you and i know that you care very much about tad and and for you to give him up daddy if you don't mind really please i'm sorry i'm gonna go but i just want to tell you i will never forget this and and thank you some coffee? Oh, no, thanks. I'm really sorry to barge in on you like this. Oh, well, you said it was important. Yeah, well, what it is is, uh, since I missed out on doing the story on the Jenny sightings, I thought of a new idea, and I wanted to show it to you before I took it over to the station. Oh, what's the subject? Career changes for people over 40. I think it's a good subject. Well, since you're so good at editing and all, I, I thought I'd show it to you before I took it over to the producer. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I like your opener. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. I'm impressed. Think it's good? I do. I really do. So do you, do you think I'm, I could show it to the producer? I would show this to the producer, yeah. Really? You, you wouldn't change anything? I would hand it over to him just as it is. Well, that's great. Well, thanks. I'll go over there right now. Okay. Oh, remember, I'm not coming to the office till after 2 o'clock, okay? What about our meeting with the producer, our lunch meeting? I thought you were going to make that later so I could have lunch with Nina. Well, I couldn't. The producer didn't have any other time but today. Oh, no. Why didn't you tell me that? I thought I did. I'm sorry. Hi, yeah, yeah. Tanya, this is Cliff. Could I speak to Nina, please? Oh, uh, no, no. Don't take her out of the meeting. Uh, would you give her a message for me, please? Would you... Would you tell her I'm not going to be able to make it for lunch after all? I have lunch with my producer. Yeah, thanks. Oh, boy. I'm really sorry, Cliff. Yeah, so am I. We have had no time together, and now that she's working again, I don't think there's going to be a chance. Lend me. PD? May I come in? Of course. Although I'm not at all sure that Hillary's here. I'm not here to see Hillary. I'm here to see you. Oh, thank you. May we talk? Uh, it, it, well, certainly. Come in. Oh. Oh, Langley, these really are lovely. It's just a token of my love, Phoebe and the hope that we can straighten out our differences between us. I see. Don't answer that. What? We mustn't have any interruption, Phoebe. On One Life to Live, Cassie's celebration becomes a disaster for Dorian. I'm afraid if I accept your money, I might one day turn out as thoughtless and as cruel to people as you are. And on General Hospital. Wait, please don't go. I'm afraid of the dark. Come on. Please don't leave me. I'm scared. Can Frisco protect Felicia from her fear of the unknown? One Life to Live, General Hospital. Weekdays.